Hi vlog, good afternoon. It's us. It is November 5th, 2023. And I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I just uploaded last weekend's vlog and in the process saw some of my old ones and I was like, oh my God, I always feel like it's a house little vlog, but then I love it after. So I was like, I need to get back in the habit, which is what I say every time. So anyway, I'm here with this dog, this sad, sad girl. She either is also getting arthritis like her brother had. I don't know today. She, well, the past few weeks she's been, we thought like sleeping on her leg wrong and it, sometimes she limps for a few minutes when she stands up. Um, but today she's been limping really hard on this leg. And so we put her on bed rest for today and we're gonna, maybe she pulled something because she like sprinted out of the back door this morning because there was a cat trying to come in and she freaked out. So I'm thinking maybe she just like really like pulled her muscle, but one thigh is hurting her. So I'm making her rest and sleep. We're cuddling um, cause she keeps trying to get up and do stuff and like she's in good spirits. But it's like, of course, when she limps, like the first thing I think is like, she has what Tank had, which was Tank had hip dysplasia, but Tank had knee problems and spine problems. But it's like, oh, somebody keeps calling me a thousand times and I answer, it's like some spam I answer, but there's no way for you. I'm trying to get off their list, but it's like, you can't, you can't even talk to anyone. Anyway, so we're just gonna give her today and tomorrow to see how she feels. Cause we're about to go on like a short trip to Nashville, so. We'll see how she's doing. We might have to schedule an appointment if it is something, but for right now, I just think she maybe hurt herself. So she's in a good spirits though today. She's just zoned out because I've been petting her. So anyway, this morning we haven't done much. I made some waffles and some Spanish country omelet. It was delicious. Picked up a big tub of Legos to take to work. Look, she's like, mother, good girl. And I've done a little cleaning. So I'm gonna go move over the wash and then I'm gonna make bean dip because it's Sunday and football is on. And look at this, we are bringing a meal to our neighbor who's down the road. Um, she's so sweet, she came to our Halloween party and like then Nick went over there. And she gifted Nick some of her husband's like boots and I don't know, she's just so sweet. So I wanted to share some love and bring her. Nick uh, roasted some, smoked some meat yesterday and I made mashed potatoes. So we're gonna bring that to her. And it's my coworker's birthday on Tuesday, so I'm bringing her some of these brown butter oatmeal cookies. So, we've been up to a lot. Whoa! Also, okay, hold on. I have to come in the basement so Nick doesn't hear me. Um, he's been really wanting this um, Wrangler jean jacket with like the fluff, the Sherpa on the inside. But when we went to Boot Barn two week or last weekend or the weekend before, whatever, I was like, no, like you already have a jean jacket. Cause he was trying to figure out what to buy. He wanted jeans or the jacket. And I was like, well, jeans you wear every day, whatever. Um, oh God. So he bought the jeans and then for our anniversary gift. Cause we, okay. So we're going to Nashville with Nick's mom and dad and brother and his brother's girlfriend and a family friend who I've never met. One other guy is going and we're renting an Airbnb and we're gonna hang out for like three, four days um, from Wednesday to Saturday in Nashville. And so we're gonna be there on our anniversary, which is like kind of fun because we haven't really like, it's our fifth anniversary, you know? So it's like kind of like, we didn't plan this trip for our anniversary, but like cool, you know? Uh, cool to be in Nashville for an anniversary. So I ordered him the jean jacket and it was like $80 on their website. It was 60 on Amazon. So hell yeah, I ordered it. And I ordered him this like scarf. It's like a bandana, like a long one. They call it a wild rag. I didn't know it was a thing, but it's like for the winter. So it's like a bit, it's like a scarf for cowboys. So I ordered him that and they're coming. I'm so excited to give it to him because he just ordered this hat that just came in the mail yesterday and it's gonna be, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also cleaning out the house giving away lots of stuff. So now you're caught up. Sorry, that was like five minutes. All right, here's my pile of things we've cleaned out of the house last night. I took pictures and posted them all on my Facebook group page. And then now I'm just like praying that everybody will take them because I don't want them in the house. And I don't have time to go drop them off as a donation this week. So, so I'm using our extra grocery bags. 
and I put their name. Because we have a thriving buy nothing group here. So somebody wants this for their son. Perfect. Love it. It's been in the house. No one's worn it for like a year. So it's your son's. Ew. Disgusting. All right, it is now 2.44, which is perfect because we are going to make our bean dip. It's like a late lunch snack, I don't know, because we ate uh, breakfast late this morning. And Nick's obsessed with this freaking bean dip. And every he like daydreams about it, which is so random of a dish. But anywho, so I'm gonna make some and then freeze half. And then um, I just dropped off leftovers to our neighbor and talk with her for a little bit she's so sweet and yeah let's make bean dip all right it's like four i think right now wait no hold on okay it's 3 30. we're about to eat some of our bean dip i got myself got myself a topo chico i showered poor baby she was on the chair that she was laying on for like three hours so i went to just check on her and she was laying on her bad legs and Nick was like, have her like flip over so she's on her good leg. And like, she's so squeaky. So she definitely hurt her leg or it has arthritis or something. Cause she's almost nine. So Nick's gonna call and make her an appointment tomorrow. But look at her, she looks so pitiful and sad. Look, she's just so sad. She's in a good mood. Like, cause you know, she loves cuddling. So, so she's happy to be on the couch. But like literally when she stood up, she couldn't put, like she was walking on three legs. And I was like, okay, it's getting worse. We're going to the vet immediately. So hopefully they have an appointment. If not, we'll just tell the dog sitter. Just make her cuddle. <laughs> Poor girl. It's bean dip time. How's bean dip? With the sad girl and the book that I'm reading. Not very far into it. I got it like three for three dollars on thrift books and the book Nick's reading. And my drink and your drink. Cheers. Okay, my package arrived and it was not this vodka. I bought that yesterday. We are making a Christmas gift. I heard about, watched a lot of videos about making vanilla extract. And so we're doing it. I got this Madagascar Vanilla Beans Grade A. Oh jeez. And I've watched some videos. Take your vodka, take these, cut in half, put three or four, let it sit for like a year. Now it is kind of late, it's already November. But I'll say, you know, just keep it in your pantry and it'll be ready when you need it. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So they're here. They look real slimy. Um, I think it's just a little bit of oil. Oh good, I got a dog hair on one already. Um, so if we're doing four a bottle, I still have some left over. So I have this, uh, let's see, four. Well, maybe I'll do three and one, three, three, and four. Um, when we had a Halloween party, someone left this and we're not vodka drinkers. So I just put it in the freezer until like someone came over that wanted it. Someone took like one shot out of it. I don't care, I'm gonna use it because this one will be for me. So I'm gonna let this come to room temperature um, and then we'll have one for us too, so. All right, so I put four in each of these. I trimmed off the tops of some so none were sticking out. And now I have a leftover two and a little bit. So they're gonna go in this guy in like an hour when he warms up. All right, I'm just about to start dinner, but I wanna show you guys. I <laughs> took our pineapple plant that is, has not produced any pineapples in like two years and put it in this pot, put it on the ground. I need to put something under it, uh, but it's not wet yet. So we'll just leave her there. And then I'm just committed to this freaking plant. I ripped up my last carrots sad harvest i was impatient it's fine and then these are the plant this is just my plant from that i've been saving somebody gave it away and it looked awful 
and now it has all these new leaves. Um, this is a jalapeno plant. That's also a jalapeno plant. That's a chive plant. So I don't think the jalapenos can even jalapeno because there's no bees in here. But if they cross pollinate, I don't know how they pollinate. I put two. So, and then thank you. Was there anything in the wash? Yes. Okay, I'll move it over. <laughs> I made myself a mocktail. It's um. I was getting a cold. I feel better, thankfully, today, but Friday night and Saturday, I felt kind of sick. Like, I had a cold, so I um, bought some immunity kombucha. It's just kombucha with um, probably, like, lemon and ginger and whatever citrus stuff, but uh, I mixed that with a splash of lemon juice, and then I put some of my tart cherry juice, which I put in smoothies, but I haven't had a smoothie this weekend, so I put that in there too. I've been working on organizing the garage. I'm in the garage, the basement is practically the garage. And it's 5.20, I'm about to start. We're having yellow curry for dinner. All right, the curry is done. The dog is sleeping. The husband is eating as well. Double games, baby. We're what? Oh Lord, you are shaking a lot when you do that. Wait, will you do that again? Hold on. That's really intense. So our plans for the night include eating. I'm gonna drink some more water. I'm gonna have one of my cookies. Um, Nick just said maybe tomorrow if he has time after work. He'll go try to get me a pint of ice cream from Jenny's. I'm going to try for the first time tomorrow to go to the gym after work. Because I'm trying to, I don't know, when he teleworks, I love to sleep in to sit. But I also want to be consistent with working out. So I'm like, maybe if I trick myself to just take some pre-workout and go to the gym. Because when I'm at home, baby, there's a lot more things on my mind at 5.30. So, anyway.